Perpetual Mommy here today to do two unboxings for all of you. Now, these are two Portland Leather Good Unicorn bags. And what a unicorn is, is it's a color that's hard to come by, that you can't buy on their site, that's not a standard color. But when you buy a mystery box, you may get lucky enough to get one of these unicorns or special colors. Um, two of the colors that I really wanted, one was bubblegum and one was lilac. I have terrible luck, you guys, with mystery boxes. Now go ahead up in the iCard above and down in the description box below, list my a boutique leather bag playlist. I do have a Portland Leather Goods mystery unboxing in that playlist. I also have some packing videos where I talk a lot about the brand, why I like it, about the leather. So if you want all that nitty gritty, go ahead and check some of the previous videos that I've done because today is just gonna be a really quick unboxing of these two beautiful unicorn bags. Now this box right here is supposed to be the mini crossbody tote in bubble gum and it's supposed to be zippered. So very excited about that and I bought this one off of the buy sell trade page from Joelle. And Joelle, if I'm saying your name wrong, I'm really, really sorry. And then this one right here is supposed to be the lilac tote, lilac zipper tote and I believe it's a medium size. I don't think I even asked her what size it was. And this one's from a really nice lady named Phyllis. So I have Joelle and Phyllis who were nice enough to go ahead and send me these bags from the buy sell trade page I'm very excited to go ahead and open them up because again, I have bought now at this point four mystery boxes and I have terrible luck, you guys, terrible luck. My last one just arrived today, it was a medium and the only color that I'm really not into is like sangria or like oxblood. I don't, I'm not a red bag girl um, and I got a red bag. And then the two mystery boxes before I got the exact same bag and the exact same color. So it's better for me to kind of do it off the buy sell tray. That way I know what I'm getting. Although the mystery boxes are very exciting because you kind of never know what's coming. But anyways, let's go ahead and open these two up very, very quickly. Oh my gosh, she's so sweet. So this one again is from Joelle and she included this cute little pouch and there's something in it, you guys. Oh my gosh, she included a little washi tape. Jennifer, I hope you enjoy it. Oh my gosh, that is the cutest little washi ever. And we didn't even talk about the fact that I love planners, all things planner related. And she crafted this stuff really well. Okay, so she sent it to me in the original box. And then I believe this is the paper it probably came in. This is what the paper looks like when you get a Portland Leather Goods bag. And you guys, look at the color. This bag is so pretty. I gotta smell it. It smells really nice. It doesn't have any weird odor. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is beautiful. So I did do a video before, a packing video of a mini crossbody. It was not zippered, it was a snap closure. And I did end up giving that bag to my aunt who really, really liked it. I prefer my bags to zip. I can unzip it. I've not actually seen one of their zippered crossbodies before. So I'll let you get a nice look on the inside. This is so beautiful. Okay, so I didn't know that about this bag. This one does not have a pocket on the inside. I did not know that. We do have the outside pocket, but this color is stunning. And for those of you who are not familiar with the crossbody bags here, the mini does allow you to go ahead and remove the straps so you can change the strap out for another if you like. And a lot of people like to add the guitar straps or sold separately straps to add some extra color to their bags. But this is beautiful. And again, this is the mini. I will do a packing video on this one. So really quick here, looking at the bottom of the bag, you guys can see some of the boutique leather brands do one piece of leather where you don't have a seam at the bottom. Portland Leather Goods does have a seam at the bottom of their bags. And then here you can see the rivets that they use but it's really, really, really nice. And then on the inside of the bag, like I was showing you before, you can see the unfinished side of the leather, which is just super soft and gorgeous. The stitching looks really, really nice. And then their strap is adjustable. I will go ahead and put the measurements down here, um, but it's adjustable. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Joelle. You're so sweet, I appreciate it. And I love my little goodies too that she sent me. That was just like the sweetest little thing ever. Thank you. Okay, now this is gonna be the lilac tote. And I got this one from Phyllis. And I've gotta find my scissors. Um, I believe again that this is the medium size. I didn't even ask her, but most of the unicorn totes as far as I can tell are medium. Some are larges. 
I don't think I've ever seen an oversized one. That doesn't mean that they don't have them. I know this one's not oversized though. And it is very late here. It's almost like 2 a.m. and my husband has to go to sleep and I still have to work some more tonight. So I'm trying to hurry, but I wanna see these beautiful bags. Oh, she was really nice. She included the little pamphlet that you get with your Portland Leather Goods orders. Oh, she packaged this up beautifully for me. It still has the paper inside of it. You guys, I think, I can't tell. I'd have to get my other ones to see. I can't tell if this is a medium or a large. I think this might be a large. I'll have to get my other ones to compare. I can't believe I don't know what size it is. Let's see what it says on the box. So it doesn't say, so I honestly don't, I think it's a large, you guys. I'm pretty sure it's a large. Wow, that's exciting, okay. This one's different than the crossbody tote in the sense that it does not have a crossbody strap. You just have the straps right here. Now if memory serves, I believe that their standard drop length is 11 inches. If that is incorrect, I will go ahead and put the correct dimensions here, but I'm pretty sure the drop length is 11 inches. You do have that nice pocket right on the front here. And then there's nothing on the back side. And then the bottom here has that same seam right here because again they use the two pieces. This bag is really really pretty. I didn't know that it was going to look kind of like two-dimensional like spotted with the deeper parts of the purple. I thought it was all one color so that's an interesting thing to me. Again I didn't know it looked like that. But it's very cool. It has a lot of personality and then on the inside we have that same unfinished suede. Now the suede in here, actually, let me grab the other one, is different. So the unfinished leather on the inside, I'm saying so suede, but the unfinished leather in the bubble gum is much like softer and fuzzier than the one in the lilac here. But this one has the back pocket. And this is where you're going to see the Portland Leather Goods logo stamped right there. It's stamped in. But yeah, I think this is a large, you guys. I'm pretty sure this is a large. Wow, okay. Very excited about that. Love it so much. Let me actually go get my, let me go get my large so we can double check. Okay, just ran to grab this bag. So this is my large that I bought. I, I have a full packing video and an unboxing on this one. And if you again, you wanna hear all about the leather, you wanna hear why I love Portland Leather Goods, go watch the unboxing video on this bag. I talk all about that. Let's compare sizes. Yeah, this is a large. That's very exciting. I'm glad it's a large. I was thinking it was a medium. I'm very happy that it's a large. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So the bag that arrived today in my mystery box is a medium crossbody um, in Sangria. And so I'll be getting rid of that one. I do want to get a medium crossbody, but I want to get a zippered one that's not red. So these are the two that came. Again, thank you so much, Joelle and Phyllis. I love them so much, and you guys packaged them up beautifully for me. If you own Portland Leather Goods, or if you're new to Portland Leather Goods, what style do you prefer? Do you prefer the crossbody or the standard tote? And if you have a unicorn color that you love, what is the unicorn color that you are hoping for? These two are stunning. I know they look a bit Easter eggy right now, but I love my pastels pink, purple, gray, and green are my favorite colors. So super, super excited about these bags. Well, you guys, I'm still recovering from Bell's palsy. It's still very hard for me to talk and I'm all out of breath. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop now. But if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you like what I'm doing, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. I am going to do a packing video on both of these bags. If you have a preference for which one you see me pack up first, go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. Or if you wanna say hi, go ahead and say hi. I love chatting with all of you. But again, that's it for me. Until next time, bye-bye.